welcome back to KJ from Gem to be a K. I will be doing water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces for the weekend. What's going on for the weekend, guys? I still have my hot boxes that are available. Yoni Steam with lip gloss. Okay. I also have my personal readings. Sugar scrubs, body butters, sea moss gel. Elderberry, three to five different flavors of my yoni seeds, guys. I have oils, love oils, mini oils, how crazy, precious Um, so yeah, all that information is in the description box below. If you guys are interested, all that information is on my website. Go ahead and follow me on IG at the real DFK. Now, let's get into it, guys. Let's see what's going on for the weekend. My, um, I was gonna say March, so maybe something is significant for March for you for you guys, okay, but this is for April 3rd through 5th of 2020, okay, water signs, collectively Scorpio Cancer Pisces, thank you, I'm just a vessel, what are the messages from my water signs, collectively Scorpio Cancer Pisces, thank you, thank you, So, Chakra, I feel like a lot of you guys is a need for you guys to communicate, or some of you guys, you guys are not really saying something, okay, I'm also getting there's a need for you guys to say something or get something off your chest, okay, some of you guys can also have sinuses, allergies as well, if that is the case, please purchase my elderberry um, syrup, guys, all that information is in the description box below, you guys can email me and we can get that started, okay, Angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. So I feel like you guys are having a lot of, you guys can be asking yourself whether you guys are protected, okay? You guys can also be praying a lot, okay? But this is also, you're being protected, you're being guided, okay? I'm also getting, there's nothing for you guys to be afraid of. I'm also getting, if, there's, if you guys are very anxious during this time, there's a need for you guys to balance out your emotions, balance out your breathing, okay? Because it's also, that's also what I'm getting, like, things. Um, regarding your emotional, maybe like self, how you view self, your perspective of self, maybe you're needing to work on that, or those are things that will be illuminated during the weekend water signs, alright? I'm also getting, um, there's a need for clarity, clarity like your dream, some of you guys can be having dreams, some of you guys, your dreams can be being blocked, or maybe you guys have a had dreams, okay? The world card popped out, so that's completion, okay? This is also understanding that, understanding cycles, understanding change, okay? The world is also Capricorn, but this is also you really realizing that things have to be let go. You can also be pushed into letting, like, you can be forced into letting something go, forced into ending something because you have to come to some type of peace or you have to come to terms with something is also what i'm getting okay so scorpio cancer pisces collectively what are the messages scorpio cancer pisces collectively suddenly rising whatever placement that they have water sign in their chart thank you thank you spirit what are the messages talk to me okay i'm gonna take these right here All right, so I feel like during the weekend, a lot of you guys can be focusing on your stability or focusing on building your structure here. I feel like a relationship may not be seeing eye to eye or connection, someone that you may have been connecting with the past four to eight months, years, weeks here. I feel like a lot of you guys, there's also something emotional, like an emotional offer that you may have denied. Maybe someone wanted a relationship, you wanted a relationship, but you're not really putting time, action, or energy into it, or someone is doing this with you. I'm also getting some of you guys can be feeling unbalanced, or you guys can be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Capricorn, I keep saying Earth sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or someone that's very emotional like yourself. I feel like you guys can be trying to, you guys are feeling unbalanced or all over the place here during the weekend. I'm also getting it because you guys are not speaking your truth because my throat is, <clears throat> I'm having to keep clearing it. So I feel like you guys 
by not really speaking out or expressing yourself when it comes to a connection or person or situation here. Someone's not telling the truth or someone's not being honest with themselves, okay? I do feel like you guys can be shifting your emotions as well, but I do see all these pages, okay? So I definitely feel like if there's some, you guys, it's either, if you're giving some type of offer that's like minuscule, that's not really what someone can do or what someone can build on, what someone can grow off of, you're not going to take it, okay? This can also be something like you guys are unfocused here. Your focus is all over the place during the weekend. Okay, a lot of you guys are not really taking, um, you guys are not really moving forward. It's like you guys are not really moving forward or you guys are not really getting up, getting up or moving forward or choosing to go down a different path. Some of you guys are choosing to stay stuck, okay? I feel like some of you guys are also waiting for someone to like, save you because the chariot is like someone that comes in fast on a chariot like on a horse like on a galloping so i feel like some of you guys are waiting for some type of change or waiting for something but it's like a lot of you guys are really needing to realize if you don't change or you don't put the action if you don't say a b and c if you don't um put the effort in nothing's gonna come or nothing's going to be how you expect it okay the King of Cups is someone that's trying to master their emotions. So I feel like Sunday, around Sunday night, guys, you guys can be, like, trying to master your emotions. Or Sunday, you guys can be trying to figure out what decision you want to make here. But because the Justice reverse and then the Five of Pentacles... This also makes me feel like a lot of you guys, like, money can be tight at this time. You guys are really going to save or some, it's like money that you're, like, the, you're not going to get what you expect here. That's why it went, it's like the five, because some of you guys can also be worried or stressed about your finances here. Some of you guys, <clears throat> see, you're not speaking up. Some of you guys are not speaking up about something, something to do with your legal, something legal. This can be a court situation, Okay. And a fair decision is being made, but you're not going to get the money that you expect here as well. This can also be child support for some of you. Some of you, your child can be between six months and four years old, or between four and 13 years old. This can be a little girl or a little boy. It can be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? Alright, I want to do a new spread with you guys. I'm going to do it with all the signs. See, I'm going to pull a card for today, pull a card for tomorrow, pull a card for Sunday. Alright? So, two cards for each day, alright? Two cards for each day. What's going on with my water signs? What's going on with my water signs for Friday, Friday, April 3rd, 2020, April 3rd, 2020, my water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively to Friday, okay, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, okay, so Friday, a lot of you guys, the Emperor, the Chariot Reverse, a lot of you guys are, can be struggling with trying to figure out how you want to say something, or you guys are trying to figure out how you want to move forward in a certain situation, it could be with love, it could be with career. I'm also getting your stability or or your your stability. You can be thinking about your stability or um your home environment a lot this weekend. Um on Friday. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are not really being honest with yourself or not being or not telling the truth. Maybe to a cancer or this can be involving you, a cancer here, or a Taurus or a Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> 
Saturday, I have the five of cups and the queen of swords reverse. I feel like you guys can be emotionally replaying situations, emotions, people, okay? You guys can be in regret or remorse or feeling guilty about situations or emotions, connections, people around you or things that may have happened in the last five months, five years here. Some of you guys can also be nostalgic as well. And I feel like the Queen of Swords is very someone that knows that they need to cut off something, but they're not. So I feel like emotionally you guys can be sitting like soaking like a pity party here on Saturday, water sign. And it's like it's a need for you guys to cut off something or you were you're you're you know that already. The Queen of Swords knows that already, okay? Whether you're a guy or a girl, it's like you already know that you need to cut something off. Whatever I'm saying is not it's not new to you. It's just like you have to want to do it, okay? Sunday, I have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups, okay? So this is a shift of energy. A lot of you guys can be around friends, family, or people that you are strongly connected with here. You guys can be feeling emotionally fulfilled, or you can be at an event, like a birthday party celebration, um, or some sort like that. I feel like you guys can be trying, you guys can be trying to, what I'm getting is, some of you guys can be either at home or with your family, with your friends, or with people that you strongly care about. And you're trying, you're being grateful, you're being thankful for the things that you um, have now is what I'm getting. It's like you're trying to make decisions um, that are emotionally fulfilling is what I'm hearing, okay? So some of you guys, this can be like a reconciliation here when it comes to either a relationship, friends. Or something like that. Some of you guys can be going out. But since we're quarantined, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, this is like your friends or like your family. Your family. This could be like aunts, cousins, okay, nieces, nephews, things like that. And then the seven and three is ten. So the ten of cups is definitely like emotional fulfillment, joy. So on Sunday, you guys can be feeling very joyful. Um, based off of like your family connections, whether you have children, whether you're around your family, like you just feel very fulfilled, you feel very alive, okay, so I definitely feel like this is good energy, guys, alright, peace, love, and light, I love you guys, like I love myself.